Microsoft is looking to make a huge move in the AI game. They're considering putting $10 billion into OpenAI, the company behind the popular chat GPT chatbot. The CEO of Microsoft, Satya Nadella, invested $1 billion in OpenAI back in 2019. Now he's looking to increase Microsoft's stake in the company by investing an additional $10 billion, bringing their ownership to 49% and valuing OpenAI at $29 billion. In this video, we're going to talk about why OpenAI needs cash from investors, how Microsoft could benefit from investing more, and what it could mean for other tech giants like Google. Let's dive in. All right, so why does OpenAI need cash from investors? They've got a few different AI projects, but it's probably due to ChatGPT. It's this new AI-powered chatbot that they released in November 2022. It's crazy because it took less than a week for ChatGPT to get a million users, which is way faster than even the most popular apps like Instagram or Facebook. And it's not just the numbers, people are freaking out about how ChatGPT can talk to humans like a real person. It can explain things, remember previous conversations, and even apologize if it makes a mistake. But if you've tried to use ChatGPT over the last week, you might have noticed a banner across the top saying, we're experiencing exceptionally high demand. Please hang tight as we work on scaling our systems. It's been a little buggy, crashing at times, and search terms like access denied and chat GPT at capacity are trending on Google Trends. The CEO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, previously mentioned on Twitter that the costs to run chat GPT are eye-watering. A single chat GPT response is estimated to be 10 to 100 times greater than the cost of a single Google search. OpenAI does have some commercial customers that are paying for their service, like Do Not Pay, who call themselves the world's first robot lawyer. They use the OpenAI API to access the power of ChatGPT and run their chatbot. And just like a pay-as-you-go phone plan, they pay for what they use. But that's probably nowhere near enough money to cover the costs of all the free users who are using the service. In a way, ChatGPT could be a victim of its own success. With the fast user growth and high costs, they probably need a big tech company with deep pockets and data centers to help absorb those costs until they figure out a business model. Kind of like why YouTube sold to Google back in 2006. Now let's dive into how Microsoft could benefit from investing more in OpenAI. Satya Nadella has been leading Microsoft since 2014 and has made some killer moves like growing their cloud business and buying up big companies like LinkedIn and GitHub. He's also put his money where his mouth is when it comes to AI by investing $1 billion in OpenAI. And now he's thinking about throwing in another $10 billion, showing just how much he believes in the potential of this technology. One way this investment could pay off is by adding OpenAI's ChatGPT technology to Microsoft Office. This would allow users of Microsoft 365, previously known as Office, to generate text with simple prompts, making the software even more efficient and user-friendly. ChatGPT could also be used to power Bing Search, which could be a game changer for search engines as it gives one answer instead of listing multiple sites like Google. And it could improve Cortana, Microsoft's virtual assistant, by allowing for more natural and productive conversations. Currently, virtual assistants are limited by their inability to understand the context of a conversation and provide relevant responses. But that's not all. ChatGPT could also be used for language translation, allowing for real-time translation of conversations between individuals speaking different languages or to power chatbots for Office 365 customers. All in all, the potential impact of ChatGPT is vast and varied. Its ability to understand and interpret the context of a conversation sets it apart from other models and opens up a world of possibilities. So what does this all mean for other tech giants like Google? Microsoft's investment in OpenAI is part of Satya Nadella's strategy to stay ahead of other tech companies in AI and machine learning. ChatGPT is made for conversational AI stuff like chatbots and virtual assistants, and it's been set up to be used commercially right away with the launch of its API. Google's DeepMind, on the other hand, is more focused on testing out new stuff, like teaching AI to play complex games and beat human players at them. It's not available to the public and there is no priority on building something that could be commercialized quickly. It's hard to say right now which approach is better, but it will be interesting to see how it all plays out. If you'd like to learn more about ChatGPT, click this video and check out my other content. Thanks for watching.